Hello guys, in today's video, I will be showing you how you can create this scene from Magnate's media video, The Untold Truth of Nintendo. Most of the items and objects Magnate's Media uses in his video are items you need to buy or download via websites like Envato Element, Motion Array, and others like that. But in this video, I will show items that you can use for free and where you can get them from. But if you can afford to purchase these items, then you should. It will improve the quality of your video and reduce your editing time. So without wasting much time, let's get into it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get more tutorials like this. So the first thing we go into this to download the background. I have already recreated the video, so I will just be taking you through the process step by step. To download the background, go to pexels.com and search for paper texture, and I will be using this one. Download and import the video. I have imported mine already. I created a new composition that is 1920 by 1080 with a duration of 12 seconds, but our edit will only take up eight or nine seconds. Once you have done that, Bring the background footage to the timeline. Because the footage is only five seconds long, I duplicated it by pressing Ctrl D on my PC and dragged the second footage to where the first one ended. Then pre-compose both layers to keep it clean. The next thing we're going to do is to add the Nintendo logo. The Nintendo logo I will be using was downloaded from Vecteezy.com. Use Photoshop or any other background removal website to remove the background of the JPG. Next, import the Nintendo logo and drag it onto your time, and extend it to cover the entire length of your timeline. Next, scale the logo so it overlaps the frame, and set a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline, then go to the end of the timeline, or where the edit ends, and scale it down till the logo matches the frame size, then press F9 to make it easy ease. The next thing we are going to do is to add the Nintendo card. To download this, go on Google and search for Nintendo Napoleon playing cards. Scroll down until you find the one you're looking for. Once you have downloaded the Nintendo card, import it into After Effects and align it to the center of the frame. Then make it a 3D layer by clicking on the box here. Next, let's animate it so it looks like the card is bending in 3D space. To do this, click on the drop down to display all of the transform properties. At the start of the timeline, click on the stopwatch for the following properties to set a keyframe. Set the X rotation to minus 20, the Y rotation to minus 14, and the Z rotation to 11, then move one second, and make the X rotation zero, the Y rotation zero, and the Z rotation to nine. After that, move a few frames forward and set a keyframe on the position properties, and then move A to like two seconds and some frame forward, then drag the card left till it is off the screen. And like that, we have an animated Nintendo card. The next thing we are going to do is to bring in our Nintendo Switch. To get something close to what Magnates Media used in their video, you will have to purchase it from a website like this or build it yours using a 3D software. But for this tutorial, we are going to use this Nintendo Switch I downloaded from Vecteezy.com. Once you have you have downloaded it, you can use one of the three methods I mentioned above to remove the background. After you have done that, import the Nintendo Switch and drag on onto your timeline just a few frames before one second. After that, select the Nintendo Switch and pre-compose it. Then double click on the pre-comp to open it up. The first thing we are going to do is remove the black background. To do this, go to your effect tab and search for the color key. We are using this because it is better at removing a black background than the key light. To remove the background, hold Ctrl with the color picker so it can select more color range, then select the Nintendo Switch screen to remove the background. After that, we need to draw a black background behind it so it is not transparent. After you have drawn the shape layer covering the screen, we will download and import the dollar signs. The dollar sign I downloaded is black, so after importing it and bringing it into the timeline, I will search for the fill effects and change the color to yellow, then press T to bring up the opacity properties. Go to two seconds and 20 frames and create a keyframe, then go five frames forward and set the opacity to 0%, then go another five frames forward and set the opacity back to 100%. Copy the keyframes and go to four seconds and paste those keyframe. After that, duplicate the dollar sign twice 
and adjust the position of the duplicates like I have done here. Then scale the middle one so it is a bit bigger. Next, go to Google and search for clock stock video footage for free download. And click on this result from vecteasy.com to download it for free. Once you have downloaded it, import it to After Effect and drag it to where the dollar sign layer ends. Use the key light to remove the green background. At the beginning of the layer, set the scale property to 0%. Then move five frames forward and set the scale to 30%. After that, go back to the main composition and adjust the composition to 21 frames. We are moving it here because it is where the Nintendo starts animating off the screen. Make the composition a 3D layer, then make the Y rotation minus 30 degrees and the Z rotation minus 12 degrees, then go to seven seconds and set the Y rotation to minus nine degrees. After that, go to the position properties, adjust it so the Nintendo Switch goes off the screen, and just before the Nintendo card starts animating off the screen, set a keyframe, then go a few seconds forward, and then bring back the Nintendo Switch into the frame, then make the keyframes easy ease. With a little bit of glow effects and transition, and you have a Magnate's Media style of edit. Please like and subscribe for more.